Travels bouncing back to its highest level since 2019. Over two and a half million people took flight yesterday. This comes as Frontier is hitting some turbulence after announcing it has transitioned to strictly digital communication. So we got two separate things here. On the one hand, travels back to where it was, which is not a surprise to us, right? We've been talking to a lot of different um, travel executives. Mm -hmm. But then, speaking of cutting down to the bone, our friends at Frontier saying you cannot talk to talk on the phone to a live person any longer. I got to drop our man Barry Biffle. I mean, he's been on with us a lot and ask him about this because this makes, uh, I, I get it from a, a cost-saving perspective, but this is just a terrible move. You, you want to get blown up for Twitter for doing something wrong, this is probably going to be it. Imagine trying to call about a canceled flight or trying to get a refund. You're talking to a machine. Right. And a machine who does not understand, uh, especially if you're just forcing people to engage with chatbots in what is already a frustrating experience. Mm -hmm. If you get a canceled flight or a delayed flight, going into the holiday period too, now what this means for travelers who are going to see increased delays. That's just a byproduct of what we see during holiday travel. And then you would have to this just isn't gonna wait last. for a chatbot. At the same time, when you call these airlines, you're on hold for hours and hours and hours. So that's, that's the true. alternative, yeah. I guess.